Okay, so hi guys. So I wanted to do a little bit something different that ha I don't know if it's really been done a lot, but I wanted to do a video about which lipsticks I use the least, the most, and right in the middle. So I'm going to start off with Lime Crimes. I wanted to do a Get Ready With Me video today, and I did do an outfit of the day in this in this uh, look that I'm wearing right now. You can see that from like a couple days ago. So I'm going to start off with Lime Crime Velveteens and lipsticks. So I use these Lime Crime Velveteens quite often. Um, I'm going to start off with this color Cashmere. This is probably the one that I use the least. Um, it's not really like a super wearable color for me. It's not really something I reach for at all. I've only really used it once. I just don't really like the color. Like, I'm just going to go this through this really, really quickly. Um, so yeah, I don't really like the color. Um, the one that I wear the most is Riot, and I knew this was going to be the one that I wear the most in the spring and summertime, because honestly, it could go with the look that I'm wearing right now, but I wanted to wear a, a metallic lipstick today. But I absolutely love this. I wear this probably once a week at least. If I don't wear it, I try to wear it every two weeks. But yeah, I wear this quite often. I've worn it like three times in the past like two weeks. I just absolutely love this color. Then the one that I haven't used yet is Swede Berry. But that's because I haven't worn an outfit that really has called for it yet. And also it's more for the summertime. So I love this color, but I just, I could have worn it with this too, but honestly it probably would have clashed a little bit. So I do really like this color. I just can't wait to wear it with like an orange outfit or something like that. So I'm very excited to wear that. Then the other three colors is pink velvet and red velvet. You guys have seen these a million times on me. I absolutely love these two colors. You don't really have to see what they look like because... You know what they look like. I've done an entire lip swatching video on these. You could go check that out too. I'm not going to pull out all of them because I feel like it just wastes too much time. But I wear I wore these so much when I first got them. I haven't used them in a little, little while. But that's because I have other reds that I've been wanting to wear. But I haven't been able to use those quite often either. But I do love both of these colors. And then this color Utopia I've actually used twice already. And I think this is such a unique shade. I think it's just such an awesome color. So yeah, I do love this color. I might break up this video into two parts if it gets too long. Oh my god, my foot is cramping. <laughs> but I love that color too. Then out of the lipsticks, the one that I've actually worn the most is Baybet, and that's because it's the nude color. I, I really do love this color. I've only worn it twice though. It's not my favorite nude to wear, honestly. And I don't really like the texture too much of these lipsticks. I like how opaque they are. I just feel like they're a little waxy. So, I do like wearing them though, and they smell delicious, but yeah, this is definitely the color I wear the most. Out of the pink ones, I've only worn Gerardium about twice. The other two, I haven't even worn yet, just because I feel like the colors are way too intense to wear to work. Um, this one I can pull off just because it has a little bit more orange in it. It's like an in-between orange and pink color. It's not like super pink. So that's why I've worn this one a couple times. But these two I'm really saving for more like the summertime when it gets really hot out. I feel like this is these are going to go perfect with my pink shirts and I can't, can't wait to wear them then. And yeah, so... And then I'm going to jump into NARS lipsticks. Now I have two of these and honestly I... I love both of these just as much as the other one. This is Raquel. I just wore this yesterday. And this is probably the one I've worn the most since other than my other YSL lipstick, which I'll get into in a little bit. But I love these lipsticks. Honestly, they're the best, some of the best on the market. I love the formula. And this color Raquel is a perfect nude. I just, again, I just wore it yesterday. And that's definitely the one I've worn the most out of my most recently acquired nude colors. And then Brigitte is just as beautiful as well. I also just wore this two days ago. I, ha I hadn't worn it in about probably a month or maybe like three weeks. But then I finally pulled it out yesterday or two days ago just because I thought it went perfectly with my outfit. I wore it in an outfit of the day with that black <coughs> Forever 21 crop top shirt. I wore this lipstick with that. I just thought it looked great. Then I'll just jump into two Bite Beauty products because that's what's in front of me right now. So I only own two Bite Beauty lipsticks. I have the dual ended one and I have one of the Luminous Cream lipsticks. I have used this duo a lot. I really do love both of these colors. I think they're gorgeous. 
This is an awesome duo. This color is Date and this color is Fig. This is a Your Lips But Better color and this color is such a beautiful nude. It's not too light. It's not too dark. And they smell so freaking delicious. Like definitely the best scented, one of the best scented lipsticks because they're not too strong. And they just are so like healthy for you too. This by Beauty Lipstick is in the color Salute. It's the Luminous Cream Lipstick. I do like this color. It's just not my favorite nude to wear. I honestly feel like this formula is just a little bit too wet for me. I do like it, just I don't end up grabbing for it as much as my other nudes. But I do like this color, but I might end up trying to go for like a darker nude color from Bite. But I just felt like this color was like the closest nude color that I could find that wasn't too dark. Then I'm going to get into um, NYX uh, lip products because I only have about three that I'm going to share with you. I'm not going to share all the soft matte lip creams. You guys know how much I love those. I haven't even touched those since I've gotten other lipsticks because I've just been trying to utilize other lipsticks in my collection. So the first one is this butter lipstick from NYX. I have two other butter lipsticks that I got before this, but I didn't feel like including them because, again, I do wear those quite a bit. I've only worn them about two or three times, but they're beautiful lipsticks. This one I have gotten in my Ipsy Glam Bag and I have not touched it. It has kind of like a funky smell. This is in the color Little Susie. It's a pretty color, but I just never have used it yet. I mean, I haven't really used Melted Candy either. It's kind of similar to that color from Too Faced. I just haven't worn it yet, but I'm hoping to wear it at some point. Um, and then these two Intense Butter Lip Glosses. You guys know how I feel about these. I absolutely love them. This is Trace Leches and this is Napoleon. These are great dupes for Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses and honestly probably the quality is better and they're more creamy and not as sticky. Um, not to say that that's too sticky but the application of these are not streaky at all. These are abs these are so great. And then I'm going to get into ColourPop. So I do have the Kathleen Lights Lippy and honestly I could have worn it with this um, with this outfit as well. This is the color Lumiere from her. I've worn this about three times already. I do really, really like this color. I've been really into these kind of dusty rose purpley colors. I have never really been into those colors before this, but I really do love this color. So I've worn it about three times and I love it. And then is of course the um, lippies that come in the ColourPop in Bloom collection. Oh crap, one of them's not in here. Whoopsie. <laughs> um, let me go see if I can find that. Hold on. Okay, so I found the other lipstick in here. If the lighting and the my makeup looks a little bit different is because right after I found the lipstick, I well, right after I went into the bathroom to find the lipstick, my boyfriend ended up showing up, so I ended up going out for the rest of the day, but I wanted to finish filming this video. So the next three lipsticks are in here and the, the, color, the other three ColourPop lippy sticks that I have. Um, the one that I've worn the most is this one right here, and that is Sweet Thing. I really love this color. I think I've worn it like three times already. And I've worn it like once to work and like a couple of times out. It's just such a beautiful wearable pink. I absolutely love these. Most of these lipsticks that I'm talking about, I have a, like a crap ton of lip swatching videos. I have a full review on these. So if you want to go see those, check that out. The other lipstick in here is Freshman. I've worn this one about once and honestly, I mean, it's beautiful. But for some reason, I wore it out to eat, and it was not a good choice because it doesn't stay on very well. The color stays on really well on your lips, but it bleeds when you eat. Like, it doesn't really, like, um, come off the lips, but it's just, like, very glossy and very slippery to apply. Um, again, so I had to wipe off the whole thing because um, I finally got to fix it, like, after um, we went to Chili's with my boyfriend. Um, but he's like, he always is like, you always look fine. And I'm like, well, I gotta fix this. It looks kind of crazy. So, um, and then the last color in here, I'm grabbing one of the same ones, is this orange color called Frenemy. And this one I have not worn yet. That's just because it's not a very super wearable color. It's a bright orange. Actually, it's a little bit darker than the Swedeberry, but again, I'm saving both of those colors for more summery outfits. So I can't wait to wear this as well. So those are the ColourPop lippy sticks that I wear the most and the ones I haven't worn yet. But again, the ones I haven't worn yet, I really want to show love to at some point. 
Then I will get into uh, my Too Faced lipsticks. This actually is not going to be as long as I thought it was going to be. So I have six of the melted lipsticks. Again, I did a full review and swatching of these, an updated review, because the last review I had on these, I didn't really um, lip swatch them. But I have three of the of these colors, and I have two of the red ones. The one I've actually worn the most out of these is the nude one, because I absolutely love the formula of this one. It just like it's so much better than all of the other ones like I like the other ones but this is my favorite formula literally if all of, all of them were like this formula I would wear them all the freaking time I think the peony might have a similar formula just this one is super smooth super creamy and it's one of my favorite new colors ever honestly it's like probably my favorite one other than like my YSL or like my other Too Faced one or something but I freaking love this color so much and the Nars Raquel, of course. But this color is awesome, and I wear it all the time. I just wore it a couple days ago. Then I have Marshmallow and Peony. I love both of these as well. I've worn them a few times. I have not worn them recently, though. That's because I've been showing love to other lipsticks. And then I have Strawberry and Candy. Candy I've only worn once, and I really, really want to wear it again. It is such a beautiful color. But again, I have not worn outfits that have called for red recently. It's mostly been called for pink, an orangey color, or some type of dusty purple color. So, but I do want to show more love to these soon. Hopefully when I like go out to dinner or something. And then I also have the melted metallic lipsticks, the melted metal lipsticks that I've done a full review on these as well in the lip swatching video. Um, the two that I've worn is Melted Metallic Debutante, which is what I have on my lips right now. I absolutely love this shade. I think this is probably my favorite application that I've done of it today, and that's when I just threw it on in my bathroom before because it came off. It is not transfer proof. You have to reapply it after, like, you eat or you kiss or, like, um, you have dessert or something. So, But I do love this. It's super smooth, super jelly-like. It's just, I love it. And I also love the Melted Metallic Bunny. I've worn this out once as well, and I've also used in a tutorial. I love this shade. But this one, Melted Metallic Tutu, is very disappointing. I love these ones so much. I wish that this formula was the same. And I really wish I could return this, but I would have to send it back to Too Faced.com in order to return it. So I might put this in a regrets video. Again, I don't really have too many regrets because, again, I like buying things I actually know about and have good reviews on. But, yeah. That, that one I'm pretty disappointed in. Then I have three of the Stila Sale Day Lip Liquid Lipsticks. Again, I have a full review and lip swatching on these as well. I have three of the shades, but honestly, I've only worn one of them twice. I have not worn outfits that I've called for the other shades. I've only worn Patina. And what's weird is that I really thought that this was the one I was going to wear the least, and this is the one I've actually worn twice. I absolutely love the quality of these lipsticks. They're so creamy. Like I said, they feel like a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, just a tiny bit creamier and glossier, and I really love how they feel. They feel amazing, and they smell good too, but this is the only one that I've worn. I really want to wear Fiore and, um, I can always forget the color name, Fiery, Fiore and Fiery. I really want to wear these as well, just I haven't worn outfits that call for them. But when I wear, actually I'm lying because I did wear my Marc Jacobs um, VIB Rouge lipstick, which I didn't include in this, but whatever. It's an exclusive shade, so not everybody has it. Um, so I didn't really want to include it because, you know, it's something that not everybody can get. Um, but this one I really want to wear when an outfit calls for red, but I wore the Marc Jacobs one instead when it called for red just because I really wanted to wear it to my interview. You can see that in an outfit of the day. I love that lipstick as well. I really want to get my hands on more Marc Jacobs products because after I tried that I'm kind of in love with that lipstick so I don't know if I'm gonna have a new love affair with that red or I might go for this red the next time I wear red but I'm hoping to wear this one um and then I have a couple YSL lip lipsticks I'm not gonna include the lip gloss this is a really old lip gloss and I wore it quite a bit when I first um got it but it's a pretty old one and I don't really wear it anymore but I want to include the two new YSL lipsticks that I have. These are probably my favorite, favorite lipsticks that I own. I absolutely love them. Not that to say that they're not the least drying. I just, I love the scent of these. And they feel so luxurious on your lips. And the color payoff is so great. And honestly, the scent gets me. I just, 
love the scent. This is Pink in Paris. I've only worn this one once, but when I wore it, I wore it like all day at a shift at work. And oh, I love it. I love this color so much. It's beautiful. And then I also have um, Nude Beige. I've worn this one about three times already since I've hauled it. And I love this color. And I can't wait to wear it again. I probably will wear it like on Monday or something. But I love this. I have to wear it at least once a week now. So it just basically makes it in rotation of my other nudes. I love both of these so much. Honestly, if you don't own a YSL lipstick, you need to go and get one. You need to own at least one YSL lipstick, one Chanel lipstick, and one NARS lipstick in your life. I'm not mentioning a, a Chanel lipstick because I use Chanel so much that these are more recently, again, these are my recently acquired lipstick collection and the ones that I wear the most. But if you don't own a NARS lipstick or a YSL lipstick, you don't know what you're doing because <laughs> you need them in your life. Um, then the other lipstick I'm talking about, and then I've, I almost forgot one, is this Too Faced um, Lip Drench Cream. Too Faced Lip Cream, Lip Drench Cream, I think that's what it's called. Cream Lip Drench, I don't know, something like that. This is the color Naughty Nude. I love this color so much. I wear it so much as well. I like this probably more than the Urban Decay one that I'm going to talk about. I like this color more. I love the formula of this one. Honestly, Too Faced lipsticks are awesome. So I kind of want to pick up more of these, but again, I don't want to be too overwhelmed with the product, so I cannot pick up more. Then another one, this is my most recently acquired lipstick, but my boyfriend got this for me, so this is not one I paid for myself. But again, I have a full review and comparison video to this lipstick. Um, I mean lip gloss. This is a lip gloss actually, but it's a very pigmented lips, lip gloss, so I consider it a liquid lip gloss lipstick. So um, this is in the color Undressed, and I really do like this color, and I've worn it twice already, so yeah, I do wear it. But it's just a little bit sticky, and the color doesn't really stay too well, so I do find I need to reapply this probably once or twice, but it's pretty good. It's not, it's okay. It's not amazing. And then the last two I'm going to talk about, I can't believe I'm actually done already because the other ones are all NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams and I have talked about those so, mu so much I don't have to talk about them again, but the last ones I'm going to talk about are my two Urban Decay Revolutionary Lipsticks and I love both of these a lot, but I find that this one, Naked 2, is just a little bit too brown well, actually, this is Native. Let's talk about Native first. This is Native. I freaking love this color. It's a beautiful Your Lips But Better color, and I really want to wear it more. I might wear it tomorrow to work. Tomorrow is going to be my last day at Applebee's, and I was thinking about wearing the ColourPop shadows, so I think I'm going to wear this with it, and I think they're going to look really good together. So, yeah, I think I'm going to wear this lipstick. Um, and then the last one is the Urban Decay Naked 2, and this one I do really like. Just, I just find it to be a little bit more brown than the Too Faced um, Lip Drench Cream. I'm just going to swatch them next to each other. This is the only swatching that I'm going to do in this video because I want to show you what they look like in comparison to each other. I know I wasn't going to do a comparison, just they are so similar. But I'm going to do like this one, this one, and the Melted. I'm going to do like most of the nude ones just so I can show you what they look like. Oh my god, I love this Melted Nude Lipstick from Too Faced. It's just so pretty. And then I'll do... I'm just going to do the five most recently acquired nudes next to each other. I'll do this off camera. Okay, so these are all of the nude lipsticks. This is probably not a very good showing. Let's just go this way. This one is the Too Faced Melted Nude Lipstick. Like, just look at that. Isn't it just, like, awesome? It's the definitely the darkest one that I've gone for. This one... I have to go back to my hand to see what colors these are. Oh my god, I don't think I remember. Whoops. No, this is the Too Faced Color Drench Lip Cream. This one is beautiful as well. See, they're all very... This, this one and this one are very glossy. The, those are both the Too Faced ones. That's pretty funny. Maybe because they were just like reflecting the light. I'm kind of dumb. This is the um, Naked 2 from Urban Decay. Again, very pretty. Yeah, that one is a little bit more brown than this one. This one is like a more of a pinky brown. Or this might be the Too Faced one. I might be getting myself confused. Either way, it's one or the other. Um, then this one is the Raquel from NARS. This one is more of a pinky nude. So pretty. This one is the YSL. Again, a very pink nude. It's not a nude beige. It's more like a pink beige. I don't know why they call it nude beige, honestly. Love that color. 
And then this one is the Bite Beauty um, Luminous Cream Lipstick in Salute. So those are all the nudes that I have. Just wanted to show you the variation between them. They are all very different, so they're not like all the same. I don't like owning too many lipsticks that are so similar that like I don't need like 10 million of the same shade of nude lipstick. I like having like, you know, some uh, variation. Let's just watch the Anastasia as well next to these as well. I forgot about that. Honestly, the color is very, very similar to the Too Faced Melted Nude. Do you see that? This is Melted Nude and this is Anastasia Beverly Hills in Undress. Those are really, really similar. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that before. The Too Faced Melted Nude is definitely a little bit darker, but they could honestly be a little bit dupes for each other. The Anastasia Beverly Hills is definitely has a little bit more pink in it. But yeah, that's it. I'm not going to make this video any longer, so please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at cpw819, and my Twitter is pokerface819. And thanks, guys. Have a great night. Bye.